wrestling here at the Scottish Rite Temple. They're making their Miami debut. This talented wrestler, he's been making his way, making his journey, making his path, and now it leads to Major League Wrestling. Rich Swan, tell us from your perspective what's it like to be here at MLW and the talent that you see on this roster. You know, man, uh, being here in MLW, uh, you know, they gave me uh, an opportunity a couple of months back uh, after I left uh, New York. And uh, I think they are a very, very high intensity explosive company. They have uh, talent ranging from low key all the way to brand new, new talent like Coda. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, that was who I wrestled my first match, and uh, that was one of my favorite matches of this year, of 2018. And uh, MLW, uh, what I see from them is just nothing but a land of opportunity. And um, what you'll see is uh, guys going out there and just giving it 100%. Uh, you got Dragon Lee, you got Rouge, you got Shane Strickland, Sammy Callahan. You know, the list goes on and on. And, uh, the Lucha Brothers, uh, ACH and myself, you know, we had uh, one hell of a tag team match with those guys, the Lucha Brothers. Uh, and then you have people like Conan and, and Colonel Sanders Parker, who can sit under the learning tree and, and, and learn about this business. You have Tony Schiavone there, somebody that's going to relay your story, somebody that's going to tell the whole entire world and be in sports, and anybody that's, you know, picking up MLW and they're gonna tell, you know, Tony's gonna tell, you know, the whole entire world what that person has to offer. I think he's done a pretty good job, uh, you know, relaying my message and telling my talents to the world. And I think MLW is something special. And I think it's definitely growing by the minute, by the second, by the day, by the hour. What's it like for you, Rich? Because you mentioned Tony Schiavone. Yes. So, did you watch WCW? Yes, I and did. And I used to love WCW, especially because WCW was the place where it really let people see, you know, guys like myself, the cruiserweights, guys like Rey Mysterio, guys like Psychosis, guys like El Nicho. You know, uh, you know, uh, Juventud Guerrero, La Parca, Silver King, L.A. Parca, uh, now uh, uh, used to go by La Parca, you know, uh, guys like that, you know, the Vianos, like, people, the Vianos, the Vianos people, one, two, and three. People yeah. don't get, you know, give them, you know, the credit that, you know, where it's due, but, you know, WCW, opened up a whole gate for, you know, a certain style of professional wrestling like the Lucha base and, you know, gave us the label, the cruiserweights, you know, but it it opened up, you know, a lot of doors for guys like Chris Jericho, guys like Ben Watt, guys like Dean Malenko. WCW was the spot where, hey, if you're not Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior, the Macho Man Randy Savage, you know what, hey, we'll accept you. And it's still a huge platform. You know what I'm saying? It was still a huge platform for those guys to really get to show their craft and really get to hone their skills and really get to show the world that, hey, there's definitely something different out there. And something different doesn't always have to be competition. And that's what I think MLW is today. It's something different and it's something special. Rich, you mentioned some names too in WCW. So were those some of your influences? Who were some of your influences? Uh, you know, uh, Ray Mysterio again, Eddie Guerrero, Benoit. Um, I love, I love, and this uh, came with me because obviously I wasn't a kid, you know what I'm saying, a little kid sitting at home watching Japanese wrestling. But uh, as I got to be 15, 16 years old, I'd say Kenta Kabashi, um, Masawa, Akira Tao, um, man, um, man, so many Jun Akiyama. Uh, that opened a whole new Veda, world for you. Yeah, the Japanese yeah, wrestling, Japanese strong stuff, and how I really found out about through that was through ECW. And when I was a kid, 15 years old, 
you know, 14, you know, watching ECW and like seeing all these guys like Hayabusa and everything like that, I'm like, God damn, where are these guys coming from? Which opened up FMW to me and all Japan and New Japan and all this other sort of stuff and that. Oh, I always put everything, every little thing from all those guys into my stuff. <laughs>